What's going on YouTube? Ali Dope checking in once again. Today it's nothing too crazy, it's just a speed art. I'm gonna go over how I made the collage for a recent post I did on Instagram. It's more like a carousel, so just follow me as I put some pictures together. Also, if you haven't had a chance to download my scrapbook collage on my website, you can do that now. Link is in the bio. It is free. It's filled with at least six assets, four fonts. There's some brushes in there. Also, I loaded it with some files that I used before to use. So check that out. Once again, that link is in the bio. So right now, I'm just setting the pictures up. giving it a chance to fill out the carousel so this is going to be a four page carousel on instagram so that's why i split it into four different sections okay now you see me i'm just cutting out using the pen tool you can use the lasso tool, magnetic tool, object select tool, whatever works for you. Sometimes I use it depends on um, what I'm trying to achieve when I'm cutting it out. So now I'm just overlaying that on top of the first one. So when you slide on the carousel, it's a whole nother picture. And then the, the guidelines are like a mark for each carousel as well. So. You now I switch it up. I use the object selection tool on this particular one. All I'm doing is pressing Command J, Control J, depending on what you want. I'm just duplicating this layer, the one I just cut out three times. Everybody was asking what that effect is. It's literally duplicated three times, two times, and then just shift it over. Sometimes you gotta feather the edges. Sometimes it's too sharp. It just depends. Sometimes with the scrapbook, people like those hard edges. Uh, just for this one, I wanted to be a seamless transition, so I just feathered it a bit so it's a little bit softer. And then sometimes when I'm cutting out pieces, I try to find the piece that is like like a piece of architecture, architecture or a piece of my clothes or a piece of the arm or whatever I'm cutting out, I try to find a piece that will sit over the other image like a puzzle. Sometimes I don't cut them out. Sometimes I place the picture like right in the middle. It just depends what I'm trying to have on the next page. See this what this where I was trying something out, I wasn't liking how it looked. As you can see at the end though, I end up moving that piece over anyway. Here, I'm using the pen tool again to cut out, like I said, my arms, my thing. Like, I didn't cut out all of my feet, all of my things. I just cut out a piece. Sometimes you can cut it all out, layer it on top of each other. See, right now I'm trying to find out where I'm going to put that piece at. See? And I end up just making it bigger and putting it behind. Got to save it. Make sure you save your work because a crash is hurtful. Then sometimes you need to go grab other pieces. I went and grabbed the piece again. and that's going to be on the carousel so it's going to be two pictures in one when you flip the carousel
this. I'm just adding some overlays. Once again, got a free scrapbook collage kit. I got a free scrapbook collage kit in my bio right now. So you can check the description for a few overlays, things like that. This one, I just used a paper grunge overlay that you can find on. Um, uh, I've been using them actually like photocopy textures a lot. I don't know why. I just like how the texture hits when you like change the blending mode to light, lighten the screen. So that's pretty cool. Now this one was just a simple, general, quick collage. Like I said, I think I'm gonna niche down on collages, but I might do a new one where it's like dark with more like effects on it maybe next time. So. Now I'm just adding some star brushes on some of the jewelry to give it like that vintage look. Also, I end up cutting out some more of the piece. And then once again, it's just Command J, duplicate it, and then I just put that in the middle. So it's like a smooth, like walking motion. Also, at the end here, all you have to do is command or uh, group all your pictures together. Command J to make it a smart object. Make sure you go to filter gallery. Make sure your color palette set to black and white, and then just use diffuse glow if you want that vintagey feeling. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.